The American Red Cross says it has local volunteers on standby to help in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Nationwide, they have already moved hundreds of trained volunteers to the Sunshine State to open dozens of shelters. CBS 8's Abby Alford spoke to a local volunteer who is ready to pack up and leave the moment she is needed. Local volunteers with the American Red Cross said that they are watching Hurricane Ian and are ready to deploy to Florida if assistance is needed. As Floridians prepare for Ian's wrath 2,400 miles away, local volunteers in San Diego are at the ready. We are always on standby at all times. Jane Scanlon has been a volunteer with the American Red Cross for 12 years and is a shelter leader for the San Diego chapter. Being a Red Cross volunteer, uh, we do training constantly so that we are ready to go. Uh, as you know, we currently had the border fire where we opened the shelters. Scanlon says with hurricanes, you can plan ahead, but it's still in constant flux. So sometimes they're mobile moving up and down the coast as the hurricane is moving. Uh, so they have opened shelters. You know, they've set up cots. They're ready to go. They've got their staff all ready to go. Volunteers are working beyond the dozens of shelters opening in Florida. American Red Cross says they've moved tens of thousands of relief supplies, such as cots, to the Sunshine State. The volunteers from across the United States coming to Florida to help out, you know, every one of them ready to work very, very long days, especially during the hurricane and right immediately after. As those in the eye of the storm empty shelves and water in Miami, a local cruise expert we often talk to is watching the storm. The, the rain has been consistent and, and constant, and as those bands come in, the you know heavier rains come. Uh, visibility uh, about an hour ago was maybe 200 to 300 feet. Stuart Sharon, known as The Cruise Guy, is headed to CBS 8 Studios next week for the upcoming CBS reality show, The Real Love Boat. So he does not have a planned cruise, but knows Ian is disrupting other ships. They will keep the ship uh, offshore uh, more than likely a couple extra days until the port reopens, and that means that the, the next cruise is going to be impacted. Back on the ground in Southern California, American Red Cross volunteers say they are prepared to help in any way. And there can be a lot of people and a lot of uh, needs that we're trying to meet with all of our clients. We're trying to meet every need. There are many ways that you can provide relief during disasters. To learn more about volunteering and donations, go to CBS8.com.